This is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Get more shirts, more button down shirts like that, right? And I was like, you know what, when I get opportunity to, I will. And so yesterday was my opportunity to do that. So I went to this store and they had a ton. I mean, they had a lot of stuff. And I went through a bunch and I ended up grabbing a few shirts and they're all cheap, like they're like 10 bucks. Like, wow, this, I think this shirt right now I'm wearing was eight or 10 bucks. Okay? It's comfy. It's very silky feel. I know it's not silk. It's probably polyester. But it's very silky. It's relaxing. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Right? It's a nice shirt. So, you know, moving forward, what I'm probably going to do is alternate. Because I have some silly shirts that look like this. I have some that look a little better than this. You know, this is more silly, you know, Hawaiian vibe. But there's others. Like, I got one that's a little sharks. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Um, you'll, you'll see. Because I'm going to be wearing them over the course of the next several weeks. What I'm going to do is kind of alternate. I'll wear one shirt like this. Then I'll wear a t-shirt. Then I'll wear this again. Then I'll, wear I'll alternate between. Rather than it just being the same kind of thing every day. I guess it makes sense wearing the same kind of clothes for 15 years kind of gets played out. And people are like, why don't you wear a little bit more variety of clothing? Some people in chat are saying age appropriate. You think that a button down shirt is age appropriate? So you think because I'm 41 years old, I can't wear a t-shirt? Is that what you're saying? Really? 41 year olds can't wear t-shirts. That's interesting. I never heard that one before. <laughs> Jerry Man oh Bruce feels oh, 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 paralyzed. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. This is one of, it's not, by the way, I should clarify. I did not buy all Hawaiian shirts. What I bought were nice button-down short sleeve shirts for the warmer months. And now I have like five or six of them that I'm going to alternate along with all my t-shirts. So it's not going to be a t-shirt every day. You're going to see like this shirt tomorrow, I'll probably wear a t-shirt. Then another one of these, maybe Sunday. And I'll try to alternate to keep that going. I guess, yeah, I guess you could call them bowling shirts or whatever. I guess that's what they're called, right? It's a short sleeve button down, whatever they're called. Whatever that's called, that's, I have a bunch of them now. And they're different. They're not all Hawaiian. There's different styles you'll see as I wear these shirts uh, moving forward. So, and it's comfortable. Man, this shirt is comfortable. I love these shirts. They're very comfortable shirts. The one thing that I want to talk about is this vet visit, all right? I'm pretty upset. Let's explain what happened, all right? So, for the record, Jasper Kitty is not sick, all right? He's perfectly healthy. He has nothing wrong with him at all right now. He was going in for his yearly checkup, and he was going in to get his rabies vaccine follow-up, Okay. We show up early. We actually showed up 15 minutes early because we were hoping that if we showed up early, maybe we could get in exactly when our appointment was and we could get out early to do the rest of the stuff we needed to do during the day because we had a very busy day plan. So first of all, we show up early, okay? And I'm not kidding you. This is what they tell us at the front desk. Oh, you're early? Well, we can't check you in until it's time for your appointment. I am a lol cow, and I bank on being a lol cow, and I let that pay me. What? Yeah, we're not allowed to check you in until it's time exactly for your appointment. So, you're just stuck. You came for no reason. Just sit here in the lobby. Great. Well, Jasper hates being in this carrier, and now he's stuck in the carrier for extra time, because they don't care that we're there early. They just, oh, just wait. All right, fine. So, we wait, and then when it's time for our appointment, we check in. Okay. We then wait in the lobby for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So apparently they weren't ready regardless. And then a tech comes out. And the tech comes out and says, oh, you were early. I swear to God, this is what the tech says. She goes, oh, you were early. Well, the vet is late. Uh, uh, still on lunch. <laughs> Stutters her words, like cuts herself off and changes what she was saying mid-sentence. Uh, still at lunch. Now, in the meantime, other people are coming in with their pets. There was someone who came in with two chihuahuas. They were let in within five minutes into an exam room, and you could hear the doctor over there examining and dealing with the chihuahuas, having a great time in the room. Another person comes in with a cat and a carrier. They're allowed right into an exam room. It's only us that are stuck in this lobby waiting with Jasper and his carrier. Now, if you add up the time, it's been over a half an hour he's sitting here in his carrier in the lobby, and we're not even allowed in yet. So finally, you know, the tech is there, and I'm like, well, how long are we going to wait? What is going on? So the tech says, all right, we're going to take him in. The tech takes, the ca takes Jasper in. But not us. What? So now Jasper's in there by himself without us in the room. And we're not allowed to come in. Why not? 
The people with the chihuahuas are in the room. The, the woman with the other cat just went into the room. Why can't we go in? No, you stay in the lobby. Okay? All right. So they take Jasper in. Five minutes. I'm not kidding. I timed it. Five minutes. After five minutes, they take Jasper back out and hand it back to us in the carrier. And I'm like, did you do anything? Did you examine? Don't worry. The vet will be right with you. We wait another 20 minutes. So now Jasper has been in his carrier over an hour, and it's not even clear if they examined him or not. We don't know what happened yet. Okay? So now we've been there an hour. Finally, a, a woman who they... Oh, I'm the vet. You should have seen this woman. All right? She comes out, first of all. Everyone else that's working there has their, their like, uh, nurse slash tech garb on, so you can tell they work there. It says the name of the vet. This woman comes out in gray sweat clothes. It looks like she literally just came in off the street, maybe from jogging. I'm not sure. Her hair, you can literally tell she was late for work because her hair is dripping wet. You can tell what happened is she came in and just quickly brushed or combed her hair with water before she came out to the lobby. It literally had just been combed because it was wet as shit, right? So she comes out not dressed for work, with wet hair. Okay, so uh, uh, is that Jasper? Wait, wait, what? You're the vet. Didn't you just examine him? Oh, is that Jasper? Okay, so here's what we found. Okay, so here, here's what the vet says. First of all, well, did he, has he ever had blood work? And I'm like, you work here. He's been here for three years. You don't know if he's had blood work yet. So I said, no, he hasn't had blood work. He's never had a reason to have blood work. He's never had a serious illness or whatever. So, you know, he never had that, you know. So he's, he's here for his exam and his rabies vaccine, right? So they said, okay, well, you know, uh, we think he should have blood work. Why? Well, you know, it's a routine thing for these cats. Every few years they should have blood work. It's a way to check for diseases. It's a way to check for this or that. I'm like, all right, so let's talk. Let's be real here. Let's talk cost. What do, what do I owe you now? And what am I going to owe you if we have blood work, okay? So he goes, well, for the exam and the rabies vaccine today, it's $109. Okay, but if we do the blood work, it's four hundred and fifty dollars. What? Get the fuck out of here! What? And I was like, four hundred and fifty dollars. But there's nothing wrong with him. Why do I want you to do three hundred fifty dollar blood test, right? But this vet is actually like like hard selling me on getting this blood test. Like, there's he's not sick, <laughs> you know. And she kept pushing it. She's like, no, really, I'm telling you, I'm recommending as that you should... Do. I was like, we're not doing the blood test, all right? I, I, this is ridiculous. Like, we're not doing this blood test. I, you know, he came here for one thing. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, by the way, at this point, we don't even know if he received his vaccine or anything. This vet told us nothing. So, the vet says, all right, well, I'll be back. And goes into the back and disappears, I shit you not, for another 20 minutes. 20 minutes! And then... Comes back again. Well, doesn't never comes back. We never saw the vet again. If that even was the vet. I don't know. There was nothing on the thing. The person that said they were the vet. Okay. Finally, the vet tech comes out again. So now we've been here almost 90 minutes. Jasper's been in this carrier and he's very upset. He hates being in the carrier. And he's been in here for 90 minutes. By the way, we weren't allowed into the room. If he even saw a room, I don't even fucking know. Right? I have no clue. And, he, you know, what you want to talk about a night and day experience. Last year, they're nice, they're kind. Within 20 minutes, we're in an exam room. Jasper's out of the character. He's he, out of the carrier. He's playing. He's enjoying himself. He's having a good time, right? He gets his vaccine, which is quick. We're out of there within 40 minutes. We're 90 minutes into yesterday's visit, and we don't even know what's happened yet. I was ready to walk out. Kat was very upset. She's like, I want to get out of here. This is absolutely ridiculous. I said, if they don't come within five more minutes, we're leaving. And then they can figure out how to bill us. Because I've had enough of this. This is fucking ridiculous. How we're being, how we're being treated, right? I'm a Karen. Karen Brunell. So, finally, the vet tech comes out again, not the vet, and says, all right, we're all set. I said, what do you mean you're all set? Well, we're ready to go. What do you mean you're ready to go? Did he get his vaccine? Oh, yeah, when well, we brought him back before, we examined him, we got him his vaccine, he's good to go. You didn't tell us. You never even, we've been sitting here an hour and a half, you never even told us that you did that, right? So I go up to the front. And I pay for the exam of the vaccine, and they give me that tag that says that he's been vaccinated or whatever. And they hand me a ton of paperwork. Now, I don't know what any of this paperwork is, okay? I wouldn't know until, you know, until I have a chance to read it. And I said, we, had, we got Jasper home. We had a ton of shit to do. We had to go grocery shopping. We had to do a ton of stuff. So later that night, all right, I come home, and we're finally, it's time. Let's read the paperwork. It's like 8, 9 p.m. now, right? So I start reading the paperwork. And on the paperwork, all of a sudden, it says all this shit on the paperwork that this vet never told us about. 
All right? Number one, it explains the whole vaccination process. It says, last year he got his first dose. This year's the booster. Now that he got the booster, he doesn't need a rabies vaccine for three more years. So we don't have to worry about getting him back to the vet for his vaccine next summer. It's taken care of. Cool. We got three years to wait till 2026. Did the vet tell us that? No. Never explained. Another thing, and this really got me, okay? There's something on there that we absolutely should have known. The vet didn't tell us. It says, Jasper is starting to show early signs of a little bit of dental plaque. Now, it's early. What you can do is you can do, um, like, dental treats. You buy cat dental treats and things, and it'll actually start cleaning their teeth nicely. And as long as you do it regularly, it should be not be a problem at all. He should be good. All right? But it even says on there, some cats, it doesn't actually help you know, using the dental treats. And long term, they might need to get tooth cleanings. All right? So keep an eye on it. The vet didn't fucking say that at all. Now, after the vet appointment, during our day out, we went to the pet store. And we actually bought Jasper things. We could have bought him the dental treats. But we didn't know we needed to get them because the vet didn't fucking say anything. Okay? So literally, we went to the vet for an hour and a half. Jasper was seen for five minutes. And literally, the vet told us none of the information that we should have known while we were there. And expected us to just figure it out later by reading this giant stack of fucking paperwork that they gave us to go home with. Okay? Oh my god, he's drinking sperm? So... After that, we got home, we're like, we are not going back to this vet. And it's a shame because we actually had a great experience with this vet last year. Here's Jasper at the vet last year when they let him into the exam room and he was chilling on the counter. He's having fun. He had a great time. You know, not in the carrier the whole time. That was August of 2022. This year... It's like a completely different fucking place. Like, you know, what happens to these places? Why was the vet late? Because that's the truth. But the problem is, I think, here's what I really think happened. The vet is, is basically, we got the worst vet in the place, right? They were already late for work. So we had to wait extra just for the vet to show up. And then when they showed up, it was a rush job. Oh, he's just here for his yearly exam. All right, get him in quick. Let's do this fast. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're done. On to the next. Well, they're still here. Oh, shit, I got to go out there and talk to them. Oh, man. Oh, now I got to do my hair. It runs out in the sweat clothes. Hey, everyone. So just so you know, by the way, let's upsell on a $300 blood test. And let's try to scam the fucking poor people out of 300 bucks that we definitely don't need to spend. But they're being idiots about it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I made like no money on this, this, this visit today. So let's try to upsell them to make profit. Right? It's exactly what it was. A $300 fucking blood test. You know? Like, are you out of your mind? So, we're not going back. We're done. The rantings of like a five-year-old. So, someone literally said the entitlement. Wow, you're a fucking idiot. You think that a consumer be asking to be treated like all the other consumers in the same business and getting the money, you're getting what they pay for, getting a good experience, especially when there's competition in the area, you think that's entitlement. No, you're an asshole. You're a complete idiot. Go fuck yourself. Phil, listen, your behavior is toxic. Toxic behavior. <laughs> There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me it's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it by ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>